Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a battle that could very well be the end of the campaign right here and now. We are facing off against a bulwark, one of the strongest ships in the game, and certainly one of the strongest in the Onyx Watch Navy. To fight it off, we have a single battleship, which is currently quite outdated with the recent updates and a series of fireworks. I wish I could say I was more confident in this battle, but I am really not. Either way, we'll be sending in the battleship first and hoping that the shields will be good enough against the cram cannons of the Bulwark. So here we go. Enough stalling. Straight into the battle. Okay, so to begin with, we're not actually fighting the Bulwark, we are against the Pinnacle, hoping that doesn't take out our missile array. Mm, little bit of damage to the turret there, but not too much. And we're also against the Buttress, which is already dead. Hopefully that'll be the end of the Pinnacle, so no more missiles. And down goes the Pinnacle. Okay, so a couple of shots did hit us. I'm hoping it didn't damage our cannon too much, because now... Well, once this thing dies, we will be against the Bulwark. And there it is. Thankfully, being hit by a little bit of AI, a little bit of EMP rather, straight away. Okay, it's not broadsiding us right now, so we're actually in quite a good position. We can shoot it more than it can shoot us. EMP they're hitting the front, not really doing all that much. A lot of shells are currently hitting, but not actually doing all that much in terms of taking out its firepower. We are definitely doing more damage to it, though, than it is doing to us. I was really hoping this battle would happen when, when I had more battleships in reserve in case we lost. Oh, it looks like I just took a lot of damage myself there. The character was just hit by one of those shells. Okay, another hit there. Seems like the EMP has taken out some of their weapons. We are disabling it more than actually destroying it, but even so, that's good. Oh, another hit. I think I need to move. Let's just get inside the ship, shall we? There we go. That feels a little bit safer now, doesn't it? Sorry for the water spl splashes everywhere. That's purely because my character has taken damage. Okay, a lot of it is down. We're both looking pretty bad right now, but not overly losing. That was a beautiful shot there, taking out a load of the enemy. And weirdly causing it to kind of turn around there. Not quite sure what's causing that, but I'm quite happy with it. We could try and board it. The problem is, the enemy is just made of AIs. It's got AIs absolutely everywhere. Trying to take this thing is very difficult. And I could try. If we do take a bulwark, we are massively advantaged in this war, but it does feel very cheap. I would like at least one win against a bulwark, just on our own merit. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it, we'll leave it, we're still shooting, we're still doing damage. Yes, I know some of you are screaming at me, but Lathrix, you could take a sodding bulwark. But at the same time, if we can beat a bulwark one-on-one -on -one in a fair fight using our battleship, I will be so happy. Missile power has won the day, I think. Come on, yes, there goes that turret. One of the turrets went down, which was still firing. These two are currently both online. Well, one of them, oh, what a lovely series of shells there. Massive damage being done and a bit of a chain reaction as well. I think the battleship is going to win versus the bulwark. And honestly, the missiles won it for us. It uh oh, we just lost our missile launcher. No, we didn't. We just took some damage to the missile launcher. Oh, so glad that's still online. Because, well, they still have turrets. They're damaged, but they still have them. They don't have any shields, though. I think we've taken out their engines. So no shields. Probably not repairing as much if they don't have any resource hold. I think, yeah, we are victorious. Very close battle, though. We do not look great right now. We have the two turrets on the front still online. The two side turrets there, which arguably were the weakest, are down. That's damaged and that's damaged. The missile silo is thankfully still completely operational. Although we have lost some of our ammunition stores. That's why we're shooting so slowly. Uh-oh. 
Please hit this turret here. Thank you. Thank you, EMP. <laughs> oh, the EMP is glorious, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful. Now hit this one. Close. Very close, but not quite. And one weird deflection there. They say very slow fight. Maybe I will go and board them. We have definitely won at this stage. We're just slowly picking apart the enemy's health. I'm surprised our fireworks haven't spawned in yet, honestly. They will be soon, so okay. I think at this stage it is fair enough, we're currently at the bottom of the ocean, to go and board the enemy, because honestly we're just going to scrap it for resource. It's so much metal. We just can't. It would be silly not to at this stage. Boarding it earlier would have felt cheaty. Boarding it now... It feels more like pity than anything else. Well done, Battleship. That is really nice. So happy with that. Very thankful the Bulwark doesn't have any anti-missile systems. I'm just waiting to see if it goes AI dead. I don't actually know where all the AI are on this ship. I know there's one in this section here underneath... Well, it was there. Look, there's one of the sections. Is that just wood? Oh, I guess it is, isn't it? Yeah, around the AI to protect it. Oh, that means the AI is being insulated from EMP. The EMP weapons aren't actually taking out the AI of the Bulwark, only the weapon systems. Oh, I have no idea where they are. Um, hi Bulwark. How you doing, buddy? We're going to be killed by our own weapon ring. I'm just going to stand on here. Oh no, it's too damaged! No, okay. Just keep standing on here. If the AI dies before everything else, we'll capture it last second and then get the resource from it. I don't know where the AI is. It's just too big. It, we do not have enough time. Just make sure we're still sta- Oh, shells. Standing on it last second. Resources at the bottom. Okay, we have ammunition processors. have us aiming there. That's one of the big engine segments. Along with fuel. Oh wait, I know what those lines are. Fireworks. Yep, fireworks are here. No, no chance. It's dead. It's dead. I didn't have a clue. Well, there we are. The bulwark is down. However, we have a small enemy there and a second bulwark there. The problem is we're really damaged. Oh, we're going to lose everything. We are about to lose everything. We, I can't possibly defend this. I mean, we can bring the vehicle into the fight. Okay, sure. This means the battleship will have to spawn in first. We are far too far away to actually do anything, but since we're currently scrapping the bulwark, it means I can do repairs myself as we head towards the enemy. Oh my god, the trebuchet has longer range than us. This was not a good idea. We may lose the battleship. We could... Surrender. And by surrender, I mean just get this one out. Withdraw these forces from the fight. We've got to do it. We've got to withdraw them. We'd, we, we would have lost that because they are clearly better at long range. The float line's going to die, and that's fine. We'll accept that, and then as soon as this fight's over, which will be in a second, like any second now, it should be dead. Just die. There we go. Everything run towards the battleship. The battleship needs to get really close, along with the fireworks. Actually, the fireworks will do well against that. That there is another sodding... Bulwark, and it's heading right towards again. Float lines are good at one thing. Out, we can out. use them as distractions. You move this moving way, out, moving out, moving out, nice and far away, and I think we'll be okay. If we can take out all of these fleets, we should be okay. This is really tense. We could lose a lot here. If we lose a couple of the iron hooks, we have lost a lot of resource. If we lose float lines, that's that's fine. The float lines are almost free. It does mean that, that, that our supply line has been broke again at the moment, having to move all these around. But that's fine. That'll take a couple of minutes to set up at most. Moving out, moving out, moving out. Where even are you? Vehicle 1. Lifting. 
I don't even know what you are. You're tiny. I think you're literally just a block. I may have made you a mistake. It may be silly, but I'm actually bringing the iron hook into this battle. Well, I'm technically bringing the iron hook into this battle. The point is, it's adding to our force points, thus making it a little bit more likely that the fireworks will come into the battle a little bit earlier than expected. At least, that's the thought process if we can do some damage to the trebuchet. Now, what do I do? Do I spawn near the trebuchet with the battleship, or do I spawn far away, at least medium range? At medium range, their shells will be slower. Slower shells mean less chance of going through our shields. However, at longer range, the trebuchet has the advantage over us, so I don't really know what to do here. Maybe the fireworks will be better. The fireworks can, can deal a lot of damage very quickly. Okay, so instead... We're going to have it like this. Fireworks first, vehicle, the battleship, if we lose. So let's put the fireworks in this formation, just completely surround it as close as possible. And if we're lucky, the fireworks will be able to take out the target before the target can fire back. At least much. We'll probably lose a firework, maybe two. Yes, that's it. Come on, hit everything. It's just every turret, please. Take out at least a couple. We've damaged all of their turrets, but not enough. They are going to be able to fire very, very soon. Come on, fireworks. You are my ultimate design at this stage. Oh, 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 oh. One firework taking a lot of damage there on the back. But second volley coming from all the fireworks. And can it possibly take out the turrets? Oh. Camera did the weird thing again. That was bizarre. Ignoring that. Okay. Front turret gone. They're the ones I'm scared of, just the advanced cannons. The cram cannons aren't scary, they will not be able to hit us. I think we did it, I think we're okay. All the fireworks are up? Wow, even the fireworks that took the hits to the back. They are, they are frail, but they can take a little bit of damage. This is the one that took the hits. It can't turn properly right now, and apparently I'm on board it, but it is surviving. Take that trebuchet! Maybe I should have sent fireworks against the bulwark. Fireworks, the ultimate counter to Onyx Watch forces. Because cruise missiles are overpowered, as I think we have shown today in spades. Why don't I just build a missile-only battleship? I think it's so much worse, it's just so much more effective than any cannon I've ever built. as death slowly rains down upon the enemy. I think this is also showing that the fireworks are good, at are good at disabling opponents, but not doing collateral damage. It takes so long to actually get the kill. Whereas the battleship can just destroy sections at a time. But lots of little hits and lots of EMP kind of just turn everything off. What the? Are you one of our missiles? The problem is, though, there is a second trebuchet after this. Be interesting to see if our battleship can spawn in, though. Now we're going to have a, a advantage in terms of force points. Ooh, what's that? It's shiny. I think it's just metal, but it's very shiny. I, I did, oh, we could have captured it. Now, there's no way for me to get out of the ship I'm in, really, so we could have captured this for a bit of resource, but we're okay. Honestly, it's death will provide us loads. Ignoring salvage, good, that means we're all reloading currently. Reloading is very important right now since we're going to be having to do the exact same fight again. Second trebuchet. And there is the volley of death. Completely, well, not completely. Well, will it? No, not quite completely taking out the first turret, but certainly doing quite a bit of damage to it. Oh, when did you take damage? Okay, where's the damaged one here? Uh, which one's going down and why? They're on such high health. A lot of lag right now, I do apologise for that. Not quite sure why this one's gone down for. Oh, 
Battleship spawned in. We've won. Why don't I just make hundreds of fireworks at this stage? And doing a trick which someone told me in the comments before, if I press F11 whilst something is self-destructing, it will al allow the self-destruction process to finish, thus enabling me to, to kind of skip a lot of that lag. Still in the water? What happened to this thing? Perhaps AI dead? I'm assuming that it must have took out our AI, because the engine and everything was fine. So all that's left now then is the final bulwark. Who are you? Okay, you're going against you. Speed three, speed four. Not that much off. Just go straight that way. How much health has vehicle four got? Okay, it's healed up a little bit. So both of you go there and try to catch the bulwark on the way. It seems like the Onyx Watch really, really hates us at this point. Another bulwark is already heading towards us, in addition to the one we are trying to outmaneuver right now. We are not getting a moment of rest, and because of that, our supply line still isn't completed. We have it up to here still, but this has just been completely disrupted. I've lost three of the float lines which were part of the line, and I've had to move all the rest out of the way, so all of the lines are currently broken. Either way though, it looks like we are going to be able to lure him far enough this way that it should be far enough away from this section, it's actually pretty safe. So. As long as we win again, we've managed to kill two bulwarks and two trebuchets. Here we go again. Now this time the battleship isn't fully healed even before the battle, so we may end up losing the battleship. As we can see, one of the turrets here is currently not even online. But even if we do, at least this time we do have the fireworks as a backup. Last time it was just the battleship all on its own. So as long as we can kill the bulwark with a combination of battleship and fireworks, we should be okay. That came so dangerously close to taking out that turret. Stop turning that way! Turn that way! You're turning the wrong way! You're going to miss out on so much broadside damage right now. Also, this time, the bulwark is broadsiding us. Last time it wasn't. We were in very good positioning. Please EMP take off something. Okay, our turrets just did a lot of damage to the front. However, incoming shells in return. Absolutely non-reflected there. A lot of damage underneath the hull. Couple more shells incoming, thankfully hitting the place, which is already pretty much taken out. However, we are hurt again. I really need to just stand nowhere near this. My healing isn't even useful, so there we go. Into the water, so we won't die this time. Oh, big explosion. Not sure who from. It seems like the battleship is doing well again. It really is those missiles. Taking out several of the turrets before destroying them is just so effective. Although we have just taken a nasty hit there to the side. It doesn't seem like the advanced cannons really do all that much, honestly, from the bulwark. More like anti-air guns, but since we're not anti-air, well, since we're not airborne. So much lag though from having two heavyweights fighting. They are actually flak shots, yeah, they are detonating even if they don't hit the target. So they are indeed anti-air. Once again, the bulwark positioning itself very weirdly. You'd think it would try and broadside at this range, but instead, it tries to close the gap. But by doing so, it just makes all of its turrets face the wrong way. At least one half of them can't even fire. And the other half are being targeted by the missiles because that's what, they, that's what they go after. Weapons first, that's how they're currently set up. I do believe the bulwark is going to die. 
I'm both really happy and a little bit disappointed, honestly. I think the missiles are just overpowered at this stage. It's just a ridiculous slaughter. The missiles turning it off, although there are certain enemies which have better EMP protection. I thought the Bulwark was one of them. Ow, that was really painful. Oh wow, look at my turret and how exposed that is. One shot and that turret goes boom. Not that I'm too scared though at this stage. There's only one turret still functioning on the enemy team. It's now night time, so if you can't see a thing, neither can I. I will try and brighten it up in editing, but who knows how much I can actually brighten it up. Though to be honest, this is, is exactly what I love. Not the speech impediment there coming out, but the battle of just really large battleships just fighting it out. Especially when it's a bit more balanced like this, even if the missiles, like I said, are overpowered. And now I can't see a sodding thing. Thankfully it is now becoming daytime already. We, uh, we have a very weird day-night cycle in this world. Nita is a bizarre place. I think it's safe to say at this stage we are victorious. It's just a matter of finishing it off. Now, do I want to climb aboard again and try to capture it? I just don't think we can. What I need to do is spawn one in in the vehicle designer and actually find out where the sodding AI are, because I have no idea. Again, I know where one is, which is there. I know there's at least three or four others. And now it's quite relaxing to just finish off the enemy. I'll just skip ahead. And so on this day, the Deepwater Guard, also known currently as the Lathrixian Legion, was victorious against the Onyx Watch attacks. Now please bear in mind one major thing. These were actually quite small attacks. Although it was very high quality enemies, these have been tiny, tiny attacks in terms of force count. When we attack the enemy, there are going to be much higher numbers. Now, the battles are limited, so it will likely be one battleship versus one battleship, but we will need more forces to actually take the enemy. But I think it's safe to say at this point, we are very close to being victorious on the Onyx Watch campaign. There is very little else we need to do. As soon as the supply lines are actually fixed, and we are making the battleships on a regular basis, I think we may have won. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I will have linked all of this together, and we will start making our final push against the Onyx Watch. I'm not entirely sure where their base actually is, but I assume it's somewhere up here, just like in the regular campaign. As soon as we make an iron hook over here, once we take this resource zone, we should be able to see pretty much everything. And don't worry, once this campaign is over, which I think will be in only a couple more episodes, there is a campaign for every single faction, and there are several other worlds. There is so much left for me to do in From the Depths, it's unbelievable. With the Onyx Watch campaign actually being considered one of the easier faction campaigns. And it has been insane so far, so really looking forward to what the future holds. Thank you again for watching and goodbye. I'm in a really good mood now. Toodle pip.